Good day, everyone. I am Teacher Marvin from Escuela de Sofia of Caloocan Incorporated, and I am here to discuss with you the different methods of separating mixture. But before we separate those mixture or the substances of those mixture, let us first recall what is mixture. So when we say mixture, it is a combination of two or more substances without chemical reaction. So let's say for example, if you're going to combine salt and water, you will be able to form a mixture because the salt will not uh, chemically react to the water. So again, if you're going to combine the salt with water, you will form a mixture, which is the salt solution. So there are two types of mixture, which are the homogeneous mixture and the heterogeneous mixture. So when we say homogeneous mixture, it is a mixture with uniform composition. And when we say heterogeneous mixture, it is a mixture with ununiform composition. So now, let us proceed to the different ways of separating mixture. How can we separate the substances that are combined to form mixture? So there are different ways. First is the decantation. When we say decantation, it is a process of removing a layer of liquid from which a precipitate has settled. So meaning to say, when we say decantation, it, it's only applicable if your mixture is made up of solid substance and liquid substance. So what you're going to do is that you're going to wait for the solid substances to be settled at the bottom of your container. And then once the precipitate or the solid substance has settled, what you're going to do is that you're going to remove or to pour slowly the liquid substance. So example of this one is to separate the sand and water mixture. So what you're going to do is that you're going to wait first for the sand to be settled at the bottom of your container and then slowly you're going to pour the water. So Another example of this one is every time we are cooking rice. But before we cook rice, we're going to wash first the rice. So what you're going to do is that you're going to wait for the rice grain to be settled at the bottom of your um, rice cooker. And then slowly you're going to pour the water. So that is the decantation process. Second one is the distillation process. It is a process of separating components of liquid mixture through heating. So meaning to say, on this method of separating mixture, it is only applicable for a mixture that is liquid. Let's say, for example, your mixture is uh, soft drinks, which is homogeneous mixture. So for you to separate the substance, oh, by the way, the uh, collected substance here is water okay if you wish to remove the substances that are combined to form a soft drinks uh, what you're going to do is that you can use distillation so before you do this process you should have a distillation apparatus so this is distillation apparatus so what will happen is that let's say for example this is your um, mixture you're going to expose your mixture, liquid mixture, into heat. And then once it boils, it will produce a water vapor. So from liquid water, it, it will form water vapor. And then the water vapor will rise on this tube. And then as the water vapor pass through this tube, this tube is inside a bigger tube which has a cold water or cool water. So the water vapor will be cooled down on this tube and it will form or it will go back again to liquid water. So once it is cooled down, it will go here on this tube and then you will be able to collect a distilled water. Okay, so that is distillation. So distillation process is almost similar to the process of water cycle wherein the liquid water will change into water vapor because of heat and then it will undergo a condensation process wherein on this one once the liquid water 
pass through this tube, it will be cools down and turns into liquid water again. And then the liquid water will go down on this container or well, this is equivalent to precipitation process in water cycle. So again, uh, this is the distillation process. It is applicable for liquid mixture. So next one is the evaporation method. So it is a process of heating a liquid solution to collect dissolved solute. So this one is applicable for a mixture or for a solution wherein it has a liquid substance and solid substance. So what you're going to do is that you're going to expose your solution into heat. Let's say, for example, your mixture is salt solution. So let's say this is your salt solution. You're going to expose your solution into heat. And then once it meets the boiling point, it will boil, of course, and then it will evaporate. So uh, once na ubus na yung liquid part, what will happen is that ang matitira nila yung mga uh, hindi na dissolve na salt particles or salt, uh, uh, salt itself. So that is evaporation process. So next one is the filtration. It is a process of separating solid substances from liquid through the use of filter paper. Or it is not only limited for filter paper. paper. Any filtering device will do. Okay? So, ito yung filtration. Okay? So, there is a filter paper and then you're going to pour the mixture and then what will happen is that the solid substance will be trapped on the filter paper. Another example of this one is every time we cook pancit canton, we're using strainer to separate the noodles and the water. So that is a filtration process. So next one is the magnetic separation. It is a method of separating metallic components in a mixture from non-metallic components. So there are things to be considered before we use the this magnetic separation. First thing for most is that your, mix, your mixture should have a substance that is metallic and non-metallic. You cannot use this method of separation if your mixture is made up of substances that are metallic, both metallic or both non-metallic. So there should be metallic and non-metallic substance on your mixture. And of course, before you do this, uh, method of separation, you should have your magnet. So example, if you're going to combine sulfur powder and iron fillings, so on this mixture, the sulfur powder is non-metallic and the iron filling is the metallic. So once combined, you can separate again the substances by using magnet. So what will happen is that the iron fillings, since it has metallic uh, uh, property, what will happen is that those iron fillings will be attracted to your magnet. And then what will be left behind is the sulfur powder. So next one is the flotation. So when we say flotation, it is a method of separating solid substances by density differences. So what you're going to do is that you can add water on your mixture and then the substance with less dense will float while the substance that uh, higher density will uh, remain at the bottom of your container. So best example of this one is every time your parents cook uh, mongo, if you notice, they will, they will let first the mongo seed on a water and then after some minutes, some of the mongo seed will float. Those mongo seed that floats are the mongo seed with bad condition. That is why they become uh, those uh, seeds become uh, less dense, and then your parents will throw away the mongo seeds that float, and they will not um, cook those mongo seeds because those are the mongo seed on bad conditions. So next is the mechanical separation. This is the last method of separating mixture. When we say mechanical separation. 
it is a separation by particle size. So meaning to say you can just simply pick the substances that you want to separate from the mixture. Let's say for example, diba, every time we eat halo-halo, sometimes uh, we eat this halo-halo according to the ingredients. Let's say for example, me, I want to eat first the leche plan. So I will just pick up the leche plan and then eat the leche plan and then let's say for example the banana and then the beans and so on. So if you're going to uh, pick, just simply pick up the substances on a mixture to separate the substances, it is called as a mechanical separation. So once again, there are different methods of separating mixture. First is decantation. Second is distillation, followed by evaporation, and then flotation, mechanical separation, magnetic separation. And those are the methods of separating mixture. So I hope that you learn something from this video. So good luck.